All right, next, what we're going to do is we're going to locate where do we need to put those frets and where do we need to drill the hole for the tuner. Okay. So what you're going to need for this is you're going to need a meter stick for measuring, you need a speed square for marking, you're need, going to need your fret and tuner locations. This is on the bottom of your lab sheet. You'll notice that the tuner is the zero number, C note. The other ones are fret locations. Okay. You're going to need some glue to glue in those frets. You're going to need a coping saw for cutting some slits where those frets are going to go. Um, you're going to need the frets themselves, a pencil for marking, and a tuner. Now know what tuner you're going to use before you drill the hole for it. There's two types of tuners. There's what I call the single post tuner. Um, it comes with this little piece. We're not going to use that, but you'll notice that the width is the same all the way through this one. The other one has this screw attachment on it. Okay? So this one I'm going to call a double post because this bottom is wider than that screw, so we're going to need to drill two holes, one from the bottom that's bigger and one from the top that's a little skinnier. So in order to do that, for the single post, we'll need a 15 64 inch drill bit. For the double post one, that's this one, you're going to need a 25 64 inch drill bit on the back and a 5 16 on the top. All right, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to identify our fret locations. In order to do that, we're going to need to take the meter stick and stick it inside the can. This is because the string is going to be touching the end of the can and the other place it touches is where we want our fret to be. So we'll be measuring from the back end of the can. So stick that meter stick all the way in there and start measuring your fret locations. When you get each fret location, mark it with your pencil. And remember, you're going to have 10 fret locations. The zero location is where the tuner goes. All right. All right. Once you get those all marked, you should have 10 locations where the frets are. And the final location is where the tuner is. All right, so take your speed square and you're going to make a line all the way across the stick at each one of your fret locations. Not at the tuner location, only at the fret locations. All right, Pause. we have our fret locations marked and our tuner location marked. It's time to do one of two things. We can either cut our fret locations or drill our tuners. Now remember, which tuner you have dictates which type of hole you're going to drill. Are you going to drill a single hole for the single post tuner? Or are you going to drill two holes for the double post tuner? So let's go drill those holes, then we'll come back and we'll cut those fret spots. So when we drill this hole, it's going to seem like, hey, this drill press is set up so that it's off-center. That's because when we put it in there, we want it to be slightly off-center so that when the string wraps around it on this side, the string is centered on the wood. Okay, so it'll be slightly off-center. So depending on which side you want that screw part to be on, you'll want to off-center it just to that side. So here we go. We'll drill this one first. I have my spot marked. I'm now going to drill. And for this one, you're going to drill all the way through your marked spot. Okay. So this is, as you can see, slightly off center. So that way when I put this through, you'll notice that the side of it is centered in the hole. Okay. All right. So because I'm right handed, I'm going to want my tuner on top. And so I place this so because the tuner will be on the side nearest me. Make sure I get off some of that. There. Line it up with my hole, my mark, and I'm going to drill through. And this will, will be drilled all the way through to the bottom. All right. And again, you'll notice it's off-center. That's because we want it to line up with the edge. Okay. There is an extra step if you have this double post one. So this part fits in nicely from the top, but the bottom doesn't fit in. This hole needs to be enlarged to accept the bottom piece. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this larger drill bit on the blue drill press. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is because this comes through from the back, we're going to want to drill from the back. So we're going to flip this over so this is my back side 
Notice that when I bring this down, it doesn't go all the way down. It's automatically stopped. That's because we don't want to drill all the way through. We just want to drill enough so that this can be sitting inside the wood. Okay? So this one's a little tricky to do. You might want to have someone help hold it down on this side because it will want to be pulled up onto the drill bit as you're drilling, okay? So keep that in mind. All right, so what you do for this one, turn it around here, is you bring it down. Now, ideally you want it to be centered on that hole. As you bring it in, let it move around a little bit. It'll automatically center itself. Once you feel like it's centered, you can drill in. Okay. Notice it won't go all the way through again. That's right. We don't want it to go all the way through. What we should be able to do now is put that in there. Should fit in nice and snug. And then we should be able to put our screw in from the top. All right. Well, we won't do that quite yet. Let's go cut those fret spots. Our fret location's marked. We've drilled our hole. Again, you can cut these before you drill your hole, but either way. So what we're going to do is we're going to get our coping saw. We're going to line it up right on that line, and we're going to start out kind of slow just to kind of make a notch. And once we feel like we got that notch, we can start to cut in. Now, how far should you cut in? That's the next question. To decide that, take your fret, put your fret on in that little slit. If it sticks up, if the bottom part of that fret sticks up, when you look at that fret, it has a shape kind of like a mushroom. And there's a part that sticks down into the wood. Make sure that you've cut your slit deep enough so that this is all in the wood and so that this is level with the surface of that board. Because if it's not, your frets are going to be at different levels and it's not going to work right. So make sure you cut that deep enough. Cut a little bit, check. Okay. Once you've cut them all, then we'll glue them in. All right, we now have all 10 of our fret locations cut. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to place those in there, but just to make sure that they don't come out. I mean, they should stick in there pretty tight. But just to make sure they don't come out, we're going to add some glue. So what we're going to do is we'll open up that glue. We'll put a little spot. You don't need much, just a little spot. And what you'll do is you'll just kind of dip that bottom in that glue. Just to make sure you get a little bit of glue on all that bottom part. Put it in there. Slide it in. Now, we should have these pre-cut just a little bit short on each side. If it feels like it's just a little bit high, you can take a hammer and just push some in. Don't bang on it. These frets will bend and curl then. Then all you need to do is just make sure that you wipe away any extra glue and do that for all 10 frets.